Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Beastar season 2 episode number 8. All right, uh the previous episode, it was one of the, you know, uh one of those episodes which like brings a turning point in the whole like uh, season. And I think the previous episode was one of those episodes, like one of the biggest revelations that um what was the name of the bear? I'm sure they'll like repeat it. I'll, I've forgotten it. Anyways, like that bear was the person who ate them. Like that was like the biggest thing that was revealed in the previous episode. And um, that and also another big thing was that like up until now, at least I had the impression that whoever ate them uh, did it through, you know, kind of malice in his heart, had a malice in his heart and like attacked him because of that. Or maybe he like uh, attacked him because he was hungry either those two things but turns out that was not the case and that's another big revelations now like uh, he attacked him because in because of I'm guessing his withdrawal symptoms or that because of the red moon red moon any of it uh, and he attacked them and ate him and so I cannot like blame him properly because like I, I think no one could blame him because of that because that was his like uh, mistake that he made he did not want to kill them but he wanted to become better friends with him so unfortunately because he did not take the medication uh, it turned out like this now in a way I cannot blame him and also in a way I could probably blame him because of his lack of responsibility but like I don't know like it's a weird thing you know so and like and Ligoshi knows that and also Pina knows this whole thing so yeah let's see how this goes how this like progresses so yeah without further ado let's get started with Beastars season 2 episode number 8 okay I'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here sync it to whichever is your preference and let's get started all right so here's the countdown Three, two, one, go. Okay. Now, <laughs> I was really not expecting, you know, the like the culprit of the whole situation, the Tem situation to come out just like this you know like in a weird way like like Legoshi was just like standing there and with one of the most you know stoic face and calm face he just said that I you you ate them didn't you and the bear was like <laughs> the bear and like me me as well like I was like okay is that really it like did he really eat it and then when the bear did not like you know answer for quite a bit i thought oh, okay so yeah Legoshi is correct and like it turns out like uh hints were given he was big he was strong you know and uh, yeah like that was the only hint that we needed and i don't know why i did not you know uh, predict this like yeah this bear was the one because obviously like he's one of the biggest carnivores over there so yeah anyways let's just watch when the light shines let's laugh at the different silhouettes oh <laughs> okay so the carnivores are still good friends each So, so what's, oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah, the whole thing is, you know, the situation. <laughs> beast book. Oh, face, <laughs> okay, I was thinking, what the, beast book, what is that? <laughs> Whoa. 
Oh. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, the most angelic face. Hmm. Beast. <laughs> Defense mechanisms. Okay, calm down. Okay, calm down. People will get scared looking at you. Oh! Like, whenever, you know, carnivores, like, like try to pull someone, like, there's a thing going, the tra whole trauma is, like, going. I'm, I'm thinking, like, oh my god. Like, <laughs> like, god forbid that the, you know, hand comes out. Oh my god. Yeah, she's pretty chill, you know? She's all like, okay, let's hang out. <laughs> oh my god, people are looking, you know? Oh, they're looking at her. Yeah, they're carnivores. Yeah, I was thinking. <laughs> oh yeah, this she's kind of kind of correct, you know. <laughs> the struggle, you know. Yeah. Yeah, like, you know, like, we humans don't have this problem. <laughs> okay, they're having a uh, good... Oh. Oh yeah, okay, okay. <laughs> Damn, they put a lot of thought in this whole, like, you know, background of each and every character. Damn, like, good job, I have to say. I'll talk about this later on, after this ends, you know, the way they thought about each and everything. What? Oh, a picture. <clears throat> oh, what's who's that wolf looking at them kind of weirdly? <laughs> okay. Damn, that's fast. <laughs> what? Who is this? What the? Oh my god, okay, um... Oh, they're here. So I didn't enjoy that, oh boy. Yeah. <laughs> Full Legoshi. 
Well, they're not eating, you know. Um. <laughs> no, no, not at all. You're. That your meat resistance tends. Yeah, that is kind of true. Like looking at it positively. Yeah. Let's capture him. Okay. Oh, all right. Hmm. Okay. Actually, not real. Okay. Oh! Oh my god. <laughs> what? What type of <laughs> training is this? <laughs> One of the best lines of Legoshi. Oh my god, this guy. Um, that's not a puppy. Um... Okay. Fist fight. Give him a punch. You don't need your jaw. Just punch him hard. Or kick him. Whatever. Whatever works. Hmm. Damn. Okay, okay. Oh, this. Come on, headbutt him or whatever. Oh, okay. Oh, damn. Oof. Okay, so he is changing the way he fights. Damn. I was thinking, how was he going to fight if he becomes weaker, you know? So he's not going to use his jaw, which all carnivores use. He's going to use his limbs. Yeah, I'm a wolf. What? Oh, the role of Adler uh... <coughs> from season one. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> she is quite pissed, I can see. Why? Okay, she is not on board with this thing, like not, she wants to, you know, divide. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. 
Oh no. Um. What's happening? Why is she limping? She's limping, isn't she? Or not? Oh! <laughs> oh my god. She forgot. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. The way she grabbed her tail. She got free help. Okay, good job. <laughs> That's why she was laughing like that. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, it must have, you know, like taken us so much time, so much dedication to make this whole. Okay. <laughs> well, the way you're saying it kind of implies that as well, so okay. You see the way she differentiated, like she said female, not a carnivore. Like she doesn't even, you know, see that difference in people. Like she, the first thing she thought that a ah, female, a fellow female member, I can talk with her. She didn't think that ah, a fellow carnivore female member. Okay. <sighs> In a way, that is kind of true. <laughs> you know what? I think Luis also doesn't, you know, cannot do that. Like, consider themselves equal. Mm. 
Uh, two weak people being together. Hmm. Because you're one of the, you know. You're one of the carnivores now, kind of. Whoa. Oh, take apart that one. Oh, oh my God. Okay, I I was unable to understand what the actual hell was happening, and now I understand. Oh. Oh, okay. Um um <laughs> Why are you reacting like you're my father? Hmm, okay. Uh, <laughs> yeah, he, he won't do that. He's too prideful for that. What? Oh! Oh my god. <sighs> Life of weakling is filled with sin. Is that is Haru calling him or something? Like <clears throat> Juno said to call him. I think so. Let's see. Yeah. Well, he cut off all, you know, the things that he thought that, like, you know, uh, the things that he was relying upon. So his weak past, as he says, by destroying that phone, the I think the final thing that he had from his past was like destroyed. All right, so. So this episode was um, more with, you know, more with the whole carnivore, herbivore things that's happening. More of those stuffs were shown. And a little bit of Juno and Haru interacting. So, yeah, nothing much happened. But, like, I thought maybe we we're going to continue with the whole, you know, them situation. But I'm guessing we're going to, uh, you know, resume from the next episode or from the future episodes so okay <coughs> so okay ibuki his name is ibuki uh, i always forgot the forget the lion's name um the uh, glasses wearing lion 
Okay, I need to remember. His name is a bit difficult to remember. Ibuki. Ibuki. Okay. Okay, that's the end. Alright, so all right, so let's talk about this episode. This was um episode number eight. And <clears throat> in the beginning <coughs> We see a little bit with a, f a female uh, le leopard, she said. Yeah, leopard. Uh, okay, what was her name? Just a sec. Let's see. Did she mention her name? Female leopard, 18 years old. Um, I don't think they mentioned. Did they mention her name? Okay, anyways, um, I'm going to... Okay, they did not mention. I cannot find her name, even if they mentioned it. Uh... Anyways, uh, so yeah, uh, first we get a little bit of her and Juno. And um, <clears throat> now here's the thing. Now this uh, sh like episode was broken into two, not two, but three parts. The first part was with the leopard. The second part was with Juno. And the third part was with uh, Luis. And so... Uh, in the beginning, we see <coughs> like them talking with each other, the leopard and Juno. <coughs> so, okay, so here's the thing. Now, Juno does not, I, as far as I can like say, like Juno obviously does not, you know, want the like he she wants this like division to happen. Now, I don't think that she from her heart wants that. But, you know, people kind of uh, like become stubborn uh, of like because of a lot of things and she's kind of thinking like that. <clears throat> so I'm not sure whether she will change her mind or not. You know, when like she was uh, interacting with Haru, she was kind of saying that, oh, like we uh, carnivores are weak in a sense. So that's why she wants the <clears throat> division to happen. Like, <clears throat> you know, like whenever people compare a uh, herbivore uh, to a carnivore in front of everyone usually as she was saying that herbivores get more like praise herbivores get more uh, is more popular than <clears throat> the like carnivore counterpart so obviously like when they're together they're weak in a sense the carnivores because you know they can't do anything they have to always men like uh like follow the rules regulations a lot of you know things <clears throat> in the society so in a way as like Juno like expressed they are weak if they are together but if they're divided they'll probably be able to you know kind of become uh, a separate entity people will look at the carnivores as carnivores not like uh, like they won't, won't compare them to a herbivore if they are you know divided but like division also brings a lot of negative things as well you know like uh it, like it's usually like it's a good thing to become like uh, to always be you know kind of united so like division is usually a thing uh, like a uh, preparation for disaster in the like long run in my opinion at least so <clears throat> like like it will kind of be like they they are like looking at the not looking at the long term thing like at least juno is not looking at it She's thinking that oh, if we are, you know, uh, divided, people will only look at us as we. They won't compare us to the herbivores. Everything will be, you know, we will be stronger in that sense. Like we won't have like weird rules, uh, like shackling us, you know, uh, like uh, the rules that kind of protect the herbivores. So, so she's thinking like that, but like like i'm sure like she can understand that um if they're divided they will like the first main thing that is going to happen is they're going to lose a lot of friends you know like they are like students so if they are divided they will lose a lot of friends who they will were good friends with like they were like uh, uh like extremely like they were like like they had a good time with all of them they'll lose and I think that's a big thing. So like, like losing relationship, that is going to happen. The first thing. And then there are also a lot of other, you know, problems. Uh, like, <clears throat> I'm sure the Harvey Post also helped them in some way, you know, in some uh, small little ways 
which they are like unable to see. like there's a saying you know like people don't usually understand the like significance of a thing unless and until he or she loses it so a lot of other problems will arise uh, i'm sure about it so like <clears throat> you know being stubborn she kind of things that uh, like uh, like if we are divided we will become stronger uh, but i'm sure you know i'm sure like she will understand gradually that no that's not actually the case like be, like keep like keeping together keep like become like keeping united is the best thing and you know like the <clears throat> the way they are now that is like an amazing thing that they have like you know united uh like like who can say you know like um like i think i'm not sure but uh, i think like uh, they kind of mentioned it i'm not sure if i'm like imagining it or like if they really mention it but uh, this like uh, like this charitable school i think this is one of the most unique schools did they say something like that or i am like imagining it like uh, it's one of the like fewer uh, like schools who have this herbivore and carnivores together i cannot remember if, it's if there is something like that but anyways but <clears throat> like at least in this world where herbivores and carnivores are there like them living together them you know uh, having like f like becoming friends together like living the school life together is an amazing thing and i don't think that you know uh, that should be stopped like breaking up the drama club is just a small part of it you know if like somehow the drama club breaks apart it's going to you know like the cracks will spread from that and like people like in the end you know the whole school will be divided like people are going to say that oh the drama club has been separated why don't we separate the other things in this whole school why don't we break the whole school down into two parts and like you know divide the whole school into two parts like one school will be for the carnivores one will be the herbivores like this is the future you know if the like a drama club breaks up so that's a bad thing that should not happen so i'm sure like <clears throat> no one wants that but obviously like you know is unable to understand that it at this part or even if she understands it she is too stubborn to admit it and <laughs> yeah like her complexes each and everything is kind of acting against her uh, uh, on that department so yeah but i'm sure like she'll understand you know yeah, she like uh, interacted with haru this episode and uh, like I'm sure like uh, if she interacts more with Haru and all the other Harvey force and show her real self in front of them <coughs> she's going to change and uh, like yeah like she's a good you know she's a good um, like person by heart so obviously like she I'm sure like she's intelligent as well she I'm sure that she won't like you know uh, in the end she won't be uh, like she won't want this whole uh, division to happen and let's just wait and watch yeah and uh, okay and that and uh, there was this uh, uh, portion for the lep uh, leopard as well uh, a little bit of uh, you know a little bit of this uh, episode was dedicated to her and uh, I think the, her name was Peach uh, is this a sheep yeah I think it's a sheep isn't it uh, <clears throat> So there was also we got a little bit of her, you know, uh, story, a little bit of her screen time, and <clears throat> thankfully she is like uh, not only she like I'm I'm sure like a lot of the other herbivores are also like <clears throat> treating the carnivores the same uh, even after that whole incident happened the whole arm breaking incident. So like yeah like thankfully like I thought maybe they're going to you know become scared of them and like keep them at a distance but thankfully that's not the case they're still like <clears throat> carrying on as they uh, were before and yeah that's good <clears throat> and the leopard also made you know uh, like try to become better friends with her and like you know became proactive and said like why don't we hang out you know so, yeah that's all <clears throat> you know uh, good and then we see Legoshi and okay so here's one thing like I was thinking like was Legoshi going to start eating you know uh, meat again uh, turns out probably she won't he won't do that like uh, like not eat consuming meat uh, would probably reduce his jaw strength but he can you know increase his muscle strength his uh, strength for his like hand and like for his limbs 
and um in this episode we kind of saw the other i think uh, there was a high and like what did go excuse me <clears throat> what did go he said there was a high and wasn't it anyways like uh like he tried to uh you know bite into legoshi's arm and like he said that oh this is hard so <laughs> i'm guessing legoshi is still working out <laughs> regularly <laughs> okay so yeah like i was thinking like how is he going to protect the others if he becomes weak so he's probably going to start training his limbs and not use his jaw uh, which i think is a very clever thing that they did you know because if you don't have the strength in the jaw and you like train your limbs uh, and you uh, like transfer like uh, the strength in the jaw you're going to uh, <clears throat> kind of replace it with the strength of your limbs i think it will be good you know because he is trying not to harm the herbivores so like the only difference between the herbivores and the carnivores is like the one of the difference not the only difference one of the differences is the jaw strength as they said the jaw strength of the carnivores are a lot, lot, lot like more than the car like herbivores herbivores have strong uh, like limbs so in that way he can you know become more friendlier become more like um more like the herbivores the people the the uh, like animals that she is trying to protect the herbivores haru so okay it's like, like that's a good thing that they did i was thinking like how are they going to you know uh make ligoshi strong because he's not consuming meat so how are they going to pull that off so yeah they're going to do it in this direction all right but still i'm thinking like you know there is like uh, like the nutrients that usually uh, are like uh, get into the carnivore system and the nutrients that like get into the herbivore system are completely different so i'm not sure how are they going to you know the strength like obviously like he can train his body but if he doesn't get proper nutrients in his meals the nutrients that are like like that carnivores need is he really be going to be able to you know uh, keep his strength i'm not sure about that like i don't know like like we humans can do that because obviously we like like eat a lot of various types of you know vegetables and like a, a lot of things but carnivores have a different type of a digestive system different type of a whole like their whole system is quite different so i'm really not sure if it is possible for uh, you know carnivore to keep his strength uh, by like consuming vegetables i don't know like i'm not sure about that but let's just wait and watch yeah and then we get the next portion where we see like um a juno and haru and like <laughs> like so <laughs> like i think like the way juno you know like um like she's kind of the way she like looked at haru and all like she herself like uh, understood in this episode that what you know uh, people feel by uh, coming into contact with the har before you know and the thing that she said like what did she say defensive Uh, what did what actual term did she use like this defensive mechanism or something like that you know uh the way you look at small little animals and feel like ah that's so cute you know like little cats little kittens little puppies like this kind of thing like you want to protect them you want to you know kind of <laughs> like shower them with love that kind of thing like that kind of thing like when coming into contact with hard wolves people usually feel that and juno also like <laughs> understood that and um like that's why she was also frustrated and she was thinking that oh whenever we are like compared in front of an herbivore compared with a herbivore usually this kind of things happen and like the herbivores win in a sense and we are inferior in that sense but i'm sure that is you know um something like uh like that can be you know uh, that can be what can i say like i'm sure that that is not a big problem if uh they kind of keep it in that way you know like what's the ma like what's a big deal like people uh you know kind of but in a sense it's also like 
like if the preference goes more towards a herbivore a lot of problems will kind of arise in the later portions like you know carnivores will be discriminated against in a sense i don't know it's a little really quite a you know a difficult topic especially so yeah like i'm not quite sure how this will go and yeah like but you know but even though like like even though stuff like this is happening the discrimination might happen like division is not the answer so i'm sh like that i'm sure about like if they divide them it won't like make any you know like bring any solutions it will kind of uh, be a temporary solution but uh, in the long run things we are going to get messed up in a bad sense of way you know like there will be there will be this whole kind of like we are different kind of thing so usually that is not good so yeah i don't think it's a good idea to like break them apart break the carnivores and herbivores apart and yeah and uh, also like um <clears throat> Uh, and another thing was like working uh, like <laughs> against the whole situation was that um, because Ligoshi likes Haru, I'm, I'm sure a little bit of you know jealousy also kind of worked in that situation. Uh, uh, like Juno kind of felt a little bit envious of Haru because of that. But I'm sure you know if they like look past that, they can become good friends. And then we get a little bit of uh, the whole Louis situation and I really did not, you know, uh, figure it out in the beginning what was actually happening with the crocodile. And then I understood like, oh my god, you know, like, 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 you know, the whole thing with, uh, in this first season we saw like people usually eat, you know, like there was this one uh, person who wanted money in exchange for one of his fingers. Uh, that thing so I'm sure like there are also like other you know other carnivores who want to eat carnivore meat like we've never think of even think about it you know you know peculiar type of uh, people like there are a lot of uh, different types of people different types of you know uh, like characters uh, like personality uh, a lot of people are, have a lot of different types of personality so I'm sure like there are a lot of carnivores who want to eat carnivore meats meat so i'm like which obviously is some kind of a uh, taboo thing i'm sure like everything that happens in the black market is a taboo so like so yeah that was what was happening here and i think uh ibuki i remember his name ibuki so like he showed his arm and this written for curing exhaustion now i really did not properly like understand this portion like did he you know um exchange his flesh for money or something like that in his past is that what was implying by that scene i think so like because like otherwise like why would they show us like that so i'm guessing like uh like he was also kind of a price tag was also like uh, fixed on him and he was also ready to give up his arm his limp so i think that the whole marker thing that they did like there was this a marker like line uh, a type of a boundary in his arm i think someone kind of like marked that portion and wrote that for curing exhaustion and decided to you know lock that portion out later on but like that did not happen i'm not sh I, I don't know why uh, like that did not happen and like his arm was intact later on but the writing in his hand is still there i think it's something like that as far as i can understand if i'm wrong be sure to correct me down in the comment section so, yeah and so in that way like uh, he sympath sympathizes with um louis like in a way you know louis also was kind of a, a product in his like younger age he was he also had a price tag on his himself so that way you know kind of the same there 
So yeah, and in the end, like Louis kind of throws down his like phone. Uh, Haru was calling him, and um, so yeah, and I think that was like his, you know, the way he closed his past off. Like according to him, his past is his weak self. So after like after that phone, like he threw down his phone. After that, uh, I think like he. Like by that, like he made a closure to his past, and he is now in the carnivorous territory. He wants to move, like you know, move on with his life and start a new or something like that. Anyways, and yeah. Also, another thing that I wanted to say here is like I really love you know the way they you know put extreme um like what can i say like they put extreme mm, like the way they uh construct each and every character has a lot of thought put into it like you know in one of the portions of this episode uh, the sheep said that i cannot wear uh, i think what is it was the polythene or polyester something like that he, she said because it will you know the whole thing with static electricity and it will like kind of react with her wolf uh, her wool like like just think about it you know like the way they kind of thought about all of these things uh, the author and also the way the leopard said that my uh, like you know my skin is printed so it's really difficult to find good things to wear that won't clash with my skin tone so all of these kind of things like they put a lot of effort into this like you know like like they had to imagine themselves as these you know these characters these animals and they have to put themselves in their uh, shoes and they thought about it uh, so like like i'm really impressed with that like the way they you know kind of constructed this whole uh, like this whole world so like that's really good you know because this is quite difficult like usually people do not uh, you know make this kind of story where all of them are you know animals and so it's quite difficult to do you know because like how do we write stories how do we write uh, a plot of a story like we think of ourselves how we would uh, like do stuff how we would you know uh, like do things in certain situations what is correct what is wrong all of these kind of stuffs we think and we write a story but in this show that's quite difficult to do because they are not humans they are animals like you have to think uh, in a way that how these animals would probably think in the situations they are facing and that is extremely difficult and i have to you know give props to the author for that like they did quite an amazing job and they are quite thorough in each and everything they did it extremely well and uh, the whole plot that they the whole like the world of b stars they really put a lot of thought into it and that is something that is extremely difficult to do especially because you are writing a story where there are no humans so yeah like that's amazing like that's an amazing thing that they did anyways i'm uh, i should probably end this now so yeah um i'm just checking if there's anything else that i missed nope uh that was it so yeah guys so that was this episode this was episode number eight of b star season two so yeah if you guys enjoyed my reaction press the like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed comment down below anything you want to say or anything you want to share i'll be sure to check them out so yeah guys i'll be back with another episode of b star season two next week same time so until then goodbye and have a nice day